This is the first of a two-part series on how to use categories in WordPress. And essentially, there are three main reasons to use categories in WordPress. To help your blog visitors find content that they're looking for at that very minute. So it, it works a lot like a table of contents. And if they're looking for something very specific, for instance, if they want to learn how to do something in uh, Google, they can click on our category, How To in Google, and they'll all six of the posts that we have created about how to do something specific in Google will come up. Also, this does help keep your content organized as it grows over time. For instance, if you just started blogging, it's probably not a big deal. You don't have that many posts, but after a couple of years, you could have several hundred posts, and therefore, it's important to keep them organized and, and enable your visitors to find those posts that they may be looking for. And lastly, and I think most important, um, there, the reason to categorize, use categories in WordPress is to help your blogs search engine keyword rankings. And we're going to talk about that in part two of this posting. In this video, we're going to review how to create categories and edit them, how to add a blog post to a specific category, and then we're going to talk specifically about how to edit an existing blog post categories. Uh, so, in other words, once a post has been created, how to go back in and edit it. So let's take a look at how to create and edit categories. First of all, you go into the dashboard and go to the post dropdown, and the third link is right into categories. It's going to take you, and you can see all of your categories listed over here on the right-hand side. And then if you want to add a new category, let's just say we're going to add a new category, How To In Outlook and that's already populated and as categories have uh, hierarchies you can have a main hierarchy or several main hierarchies or what's known as parents which we do help for the online novice and so that's going to be the parent for this how to and outlook and then you can write a brief description this category describes oops, how to use Outlook. Okay, scroll down, hit add new category, and voila, that's it. You've added a new category to your blog. It's just that simple. And as a matter of fact, um, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna show you how to add a blog to a very specific category, as a matter of fact. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to go back into the dashboard and I'm going to show you we're just going to create a new post and I'm going to show you how to once you've created a new post and usually I do it very very early on right after I've entered the title so let's just say we're going to create how to uh, send an email in Outlook and what we're going to do is we're going to go down to the category section, which is in the right-hand side, and scroll right down to it. And we're going to look for how to an Outlook, because obviously this would be quite fitting to go into the Outlook category. So then we just mouse over, click how to an Outlook, and that's it. Also, one of the things you can do is you can add a new category right from a blog post as well. So it's pretty simple. So again, all you have to do is once you've created the name of the the uh, the post and you don't even have to wait until then I then go down and I put it right into the category that I want and finally we're going to talk here on this posting about how to edit an existing blog post category so what we're going to go do is we're going to go over here into posts and we're going to bring up all the posts that we have and we're going to go into one of the existing posts through uh, the quick edit <clears throat> and we're going to change the category all you do is mouse over quick edit select it and here are all the categories right here and you can amend them however you like and then hit update and that's it it's that simple isn't wordpress great so i hope this has helped you understand how to add categories and how to add posts to categories in the second part of this series again we're going to talk about how to show categories over here in the sidebar like we've done on, on our blog and then also how using categories can help your website's SEO. I'm Preston Erler from WebVantix. I hope this has helped.